We see about 10,000 new cancers in Jamaica annually, of which about 1,500 are what we call hematological or blood cancers, so to speak. The other 8,500 are solid tumors. When you come and you find that you're doing treatment, but the person you saw last week is no longer with us because they checked in and they passed on. It's not easy to smile for everybody. simple commitment to the knowledge that in our country access to affordable safe and practical treatment of cancer is very very scarce very few can afford the cost of treatment locally so many persons die every year because simply they cannot afford it anybody who supports this project will be saving life we're asking 500,000 Jamaicans to donate $500 to save a life here in Jamaica. We're asking 200 corporate entities to donate fifty dollars to $100,000 to help this project. And we feel if, if that is done, that this target could be met sooner than, than 2013 October, which, which is our deadline to deliver this machine to the hospital. Persons can participate by making contact with the Jamaica Association of Administrative Professionals or the Montego Bay Chamber of Commerce and Industry or they can make, they can send an email to LINAC, C-R-H, that's L-I-N-N-A-C, C-R-H at gmail.com. If they're in the United States, they can make contact through Caribbean Food Delights at www.caribbeanfooddelights.com. Cancer is never anticipated by anyone, and anyone can be affected at any time. So I urge you to support the fund, because the life you save may be your own, maybe your family, maybe your friends. Please join us in the fight for life and make a change, make a difference in the life of a cancer patient by supporting this project. It's the least we can do for each other.